Alright, I'm going to try to show you how to uh, make an object move. I'm just going to kind of do it dynamically, so hopefully it works alright. I'm probably not going to end up editing it either. So, Alright, I got an open composition here. It's about 15 seconds. All I'm going to do is I'm going to create a shape right now. So I just went up to the vector shapes up here. I'm going to just grab a circle. I'm um, just going to hold shift and make it actually round. And I'm going to I just grab the cursor to the select tool here, which is V. I'm just going to move it down to the bottom here, and then if you look down at the bottom here, underneath the comp window, you'll see there's a layer shape, there's the content of the ellipse, because you can have um, multiple you know, compound shapes, and then I'm going to go under transform here, and you'll see that you have opacity, skies, position, anchor point, I'm not sure about the anchor point, I think that's the center point actually, but, so in this case, I'm going to dig around with position and scale. Now, I want to start off here, so we're good on that front, so I'm going to hit, I'm going to turn on the keyframe stuff for that and you'll notice over here is the actual keyframe so it says add or remove keyframe at current time that's where you're working to add keyframes so I'm going to move this ahead slightly um, I guess two seconds works I'm gonna move the ball up to the top oh I see my anchor points actually set to the middle here so uh, let's see if I can move that no, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so you see there's some movement here, and now I have a keyframe where I stop the movement, and then so I can move down to a little less than four seconds and have it drop down. And right about there. And that's up another anchor point. Now, cool thing is, if I select this middle anchor point here, if I right click, I have some other options. So I can do the keyframe assist, easy, easy, easy in, easy out. I want easy, easy in this case, that way it's kind of does more of a natural motion so it slows down to the top and drops and then I'm just gonna make it bounce I guess so I'll go in here a little bit more toward um, I don't know that works for me I'm not really picky now one thing about this one is you'll see we got the bounce we got a bit of a swerve there and then bring it down here and then go over here and we'll set up another bounce and we'll set it down here and so now we got bounce 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 so we need I'm going to do easy easies on both the the um, apogees of this so it looks a little different easy easy and then let's see if I actually hit play you'll play it's rendering so it shouldn't take too bad you see it slows down at the top like you think it should, and then the only problem is I'm getting that swoop through the middle. I could do something on that, I can't remember what it is, but I think it's if I go in here, I can, um, oh crud, there's a way of doing that where I can actually set the vector, so it's, oh there it is, I'm just going to bring these handles in. on here, that way it hits hard. Same thing on this one. Bring the handles in. There's some better way of doing this, but I can't remember what it is offhand. So you'll see, I get boing, hit, boing, hit, boing, hit, and then I'm just going to have it roll off the screen. And since you can't really tell what's rolling or not, I'm not going to worry about that too much. Uh, where are we? There we are. There's the handle I need, so I'm pulling that in. And I'll have a little bit of a bounce of the M4 rolls, I guess. Boing, and then roll. And like I guess you can't really tell that it's rolling, so it doesn't really matter too much. The other thing I'm going to do is, since I set up the position marker with something that I could, you know, as, um... I'm going to make this so that that's basically the end there, too. I'm going to set the um, scale. I already have an initial key point for the scale, so I'm going to set the thing get smaller as it goes, so I'm going to make sure I'm on the scale option here, and I'm just going to scale this down. Let's see if I can... The problem is the, um, the center anchor is off to the side there. Bloody hell. I'm on scale. Yeah, you can see it's going off toward the actual anchor, middle anchor point there, but not a biggie. Let's see if it looks like it should look. 
Alright, well, it's not exactly what I had in mind originally, but whatever, I can cope. So anyway, you can see that I have the anchor point set up, and now I have um, a couple different dynamic things going on. I'm not going to worry about the opacity or the rotation, because it's not really what we're doing in this case. But then any of these key points, I, keyframes here, I can move, and I can you know, play around with. I can even select the whole group and move them. Um, I'm trying to remember how to do that, I think it's just shift. Oh, you hold shift, and then you click the different anchor points. And that way you can select all of them at once. And this is the way you can actually copy um, anchor points too. And let's see if I can make this. I should be in the middle here somewhere so I can see where it starts so I can get more of what I had in mind. So, let's see if I can make this look like what I had originally planned. Alright, I'm going to go to this last anchor point here. And let's see if I can make that. Oops. I just want that last anchor point. So now, let's see. So yeah, you see it kind of bounce off and go off into the distance. Alright, so that's how you do that. Um, I can render it through once. Let's see if it actually does what I want it to do. It should render pretty fast. And then, I guess I'll save this and put it up on YouTube for you. And hopefully, this helps you with your keyframe stuff a little bit. Um, we can get into using a like, skeletal structure, pivot point kind of crap later if you want. That's pretty cool stuff too. And yeah, if I did the timing a little better on the bouncing, it'd look a little bit more realistic. But meh, like I said, this is a quick and dirty. So it's almost done rendering, and we'll be able to see it go. And then I, like I say, I'll save this and send it over to you. So there we go. After it gets to the what things are the last point. Well. So there we go, that's at full speed, which, as you can tell, is not really fast enough. But you can see how the easy in, easy out can help. You didn't have one on that one, it seemed rough on this one, it should ease up to the top and then drop down, bounce, ease up toward the top, and then drop down. Obviously my keyframes are spaced poorly in that situation. And then go off into the sunset. So, there you go.